Whoa, look who's late again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks, Dino. What are you watching? Ah, uh, you know, just another Whoa Wednesday. Are you serious? Wait for me. Whoa! What? Ah, a wardrobe change. <laughs> over the differences between pair and pair. Yeah, homophones, they sound the same, but they're spelled differently, and they have different meanings. So tonight, we're gonna deconstruct the differences between these two words. Oh, but before we get started, let's go ahead and do a basket breaker. Ah. Uh, uh oh. For this week's Basket Breaker, the question is, who is your favorite pair? Take a second, think about it, and put your answer into the comments. Alrighty, Grammar Goodies, I'll go ahead and give you my answer. My favorite pair is... Batman and Robin! Yeah! Save the day! Save Gotham City! And whatever pair that you put, I know, I know, I know, they're absolutely fantastic. Well, speaking of pairs, uh, I'm quite parched, so I think we should drink up some radioactive waste. G -g 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 -g. Three, two, one. For this lesson, the essential question is, what's the difference between pair and pair? And by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to answer this very question. Let's start with the word pair. P-A-I-R. Pair. Well, pair as a noun is a set of two things used together or regarded as a unit. So two things used together as a unit. As a verb, pair means give another member as a pair. So put two things together, pair them together. So this pair can be used as both a noun and a verb. Let's see how pair is used in a couple of sentences. First, his pair of eyes are blue. So I have one pair of eyes because I have two eyes. That means that they are a pair. Two things regarded as one unit, a pair of eyes. So my pair of eyes are blue. Let's see how pair is used in another sentence. The two rivals were paired together on the same team. So you have these two individuals. They don't like each other, right? but they are paired together on the same team. So put together, regarded as one unit, one team. So that's the word pair used as a verb. So you think you have this down? We've went over pair used as a noun and a verb. So I think it's time that we practice. Here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and use pair in an original sentence and then post it into the comment section. Think you could do that? Use pair in an original sentence? Tuh, I know you can. And get to it! some incredible sentences, Grammar Goodies. And without further ado, I think we should move on to pair. P-E-A-R. Pair. Well, pair is actually a noun. 
and it's a yellowish or brownish green edible fruit that is typically narrow at the stalk and wider towards the base with sweet, slightly gritty flesh. In a sense, a pear is a fruit and it's absolutely delicious. So in this case, think pear equals fruit. It's a noun. Very different than the coupling used for P-A-I-R. Think again, P-E-A-R is just a fruit. Let's see how pear is used in a couple of sentences. Example one, I quickly ate the pear. <laughs> Here, I quickly ate the fruit. And the fruit is the pear. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's see it used in another sentence. That pear is old and disgusting. So that fruit is old and disgusting. Hmm, don't eat it then. So once again, we're seeing pear used as a noun in a sentence. And we have these two adjectives to describe the pear. Pretty straightforward, right? Pear used as a noun to basically represent a fruit. Let's go ahead and practice this very word. Here's what I want you to do. Much like before, go ahead and use pair in an original sentence. What should you do with that sentence? Oh yeah, you should blah, post it into the comments section. What are you waiting for? And get to it. So I think it's time that we ask for some employee assistance. Oh, so much grammar. My head's gonna explode. I don't know what to do. I need help. We need some employee assistance. For this section, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to read various sentences. Each sentence will have a blank in it. What you need to do is fill in the blank with either pear or pear. Think you could do that? Fill in the blank with either pear or pear? I know you can. So let's do this with question one. He prefers to work in a blank. Again, the sentence is he prefers to work in a blank. Are we filling this in with pear or pear? Take a second and put your answer into the comment section. Alrighty, what'd you get grammar goodies? Here's the answer. The answer is pear, P-A-I-R pair, like a duo, two things put together into one. So he prefers to work in a pair, a unit of two. So pair is the correct answer. Let's move on to question two. Question two reads, that blank was absolutely delicious. Again, the sentence reads, that blank was absolutely delicious. Are we filling this in with pear or pear? Take a second and put your answer into the comments. Alrighty, what'd you get grammar goodies? Here's the answer. The correct answer is pear, the fruit. That pear was absolutely delicious. Go, 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 go. So pear is the correct answer. Let's move on to question three. Question three. The teacher always wanted to blank the naughty kids together. Again, the sentence reads, the teacher always wanted to blank the naughty kids together. Are we filling this in with pear or pear? Take a second and put your answer into the comments. Alrighty, what'd you get grammar? 
goodies? Here's the answer. The correct answer is pair. P-A-I-R. Pair. Put together. The teacher always wanted to put together the naughty kids. So, pair is the correct answer. How'd you do, grammar goodies? Did you get all three of them correct? If you didn't, no sweat. Keep in mind, this is all practice. And speaking of practice, I think we should go ahead and practice this by doing an aisle check. Pop, pop. style check, here's what I want you to do. Go ahead and create an original sentence that uses both pair and pair in it. Think you could do that? Write one original sentence using both words in it? I know you can. And get to it! Post it into the comments! goodies, I think it's time we start to oh, check out for the evening. And now, it's the time you've all been waiting for. It's time for the Grammar Goodie Sentence Shoutout of the Week! The Grammar Goodie Sentence Shoutout of the Week goes to an individual or individuals that participate in our comment section on any of our social media platforms, whether that's YouTube or even TikTok. Oh, did you get it? Did I get it? Did my cat get it? Let's find out. The Grammar Goodie Sentence Shoutout of the Week goes to... <laughs> Boom! Lazy Jesus Gamer! Ah! The greatest grammar goodie! Yeah! You got the shoutout! Lazy Jesus Gamer said, Great video, ma'am. I love your coffee. So good. I hope you become famous one day. Ah, oh, shucks! You're the greatest hype person out there. Thank you so much. I promise to make you proud and become famous one day. Oh. So make sure to keep watching, keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep liking, keep commenting, and do everything in between. And if you would like a Grammar Goody Sentence Shout Out of the Week just like Lazy Jesus Gamer, make sure to participate. And without further ado, I think it's time for you to be free to fly off into the cosmos, Grammar Goodies. Anyway, my name is Mr. Goody Grammar. Thank you so much for dropping by General Grammar. And comma in anytime. I'll see ya. Whoa! Do, 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 do. Whoa! What are you still doing here? Don't you know that the episode is over? What? Okay, okay, I get it. I mean, I, I know you love grammar. So why don't you hit like on this video? In fact, share it and do a little comment. But mainly, subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed yet? In fact, if you don't subscribe, you could be pulled into an interdimensional vortex. <gasps> So, make sure to subscribe. Remember, general grammar is tons of fun. What are you waiting for? Whoa! Click on another video. Huh? <laughs>